Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 25 online game. Today, we got the Buffalo Bills and the Detroit Lions, and Stephen Gilmore drops a pick on the first play of the game. That would have been a nice start to have. He just threw up a duck there, and we just dropped it. And then second down, he dumps it down to Reggie Bush. But um, I got the Buffalo Bills. I got EJ Manuel, CJ Spiller, a dynamic run duo. Remember earlier I talked about Terrell Pryor and... Oh, hold on. Before I do that, look at this. I leave Calvin Johnson one-on-one, -on -one, and that's definitely a mistake. You don't do that, because look at what Calvin does. He's just like, why are you disrespecting me? I don't know who this Stephon Gilmore guy is, but get him off me real quick. He's not good enough to cover me. You need at least triple coverage to cover Calvin Johnson at all times. So, uh, message received. We will be putting triple coverage on Calvin Johnson at all times for the most part. But um, like I was saying, run duos in this game i was talking about terrell Pryor and the other dude mcfadden being one of the best this is another great run duo in this game cj spiller and ej manuel ej manuel has some like 85 speed i think so that's pretty good for a quarterback cj spiller is the main beast though he's got like 96 speed or something like that he's just a beast man he's a beast in real life he's a beast in the game so definitely want to hand it off to spiller as much as we can here it is third down we got a big break here and adama can sue doing what adama can sue does best getting roughing the passer penalties he just tried to dive at me and he paid and look at cj spiller this is what we're trying to do get this guy in the open field because he's a monster in the open field trying to hurdle in the air to get some extra yards getting all the way to the 29 next play we hit the out route he's running man to man leaves the out route open for Graham try to juke him there could not get to go but once again hit the ground and if anything we can catch him off guard the read option here's second down and four we get him to do a nice little pass look at Stevie get off of me stiff arm stiff arm no no one's bringing this man down he just did his best Calvin Johnson impersonation there with that stiff arm and all that that was nasty that dude tried to strip Stevie and Stevie said Nah, not today, man. So we both score in our opening drives. They both have like kind of shoddy teams out here. Both teams not known for their defense. And me, definitely not known for my defense. Especially early on in this game, I am not that good with the defense. Like, I've gotten a little bit better at it, but especially my run defense is bad. You see Reggie Bush getting a gain here on a simple little handoff. He does some nice spin moving here. And I'm just like, all right, if he's going to do that, he's going to eventually fumble the ball. That's what I'm hoping. Eventually, he'll fumble the ball. Here's second down and three. He's in the pocket, and we pop him. I was hoping that will be the fumble. We got it off going forward. Then third down and three. Once again, these slants. I mean, the zones are just not that great. They just stand their zones, and that's it. They don't really wander around that much, unfortunately. Here's second down, 10. He gets popped, bringing up a third down and 10. And we leave Calvin one-on-one, -on -one, and he's out of bounds. No. Touchdown. You would think this man was out of bounds with the little bit of space he had. But somehow, Calvin toe-tapped that one in there and got a touchdown. Calvin does what Calvin wants to do out there. Don't I paid for leaving him one-on-one, -on -one, I guess. I just didn't think that... You know, 30 yards downfield, we need a safety help. But whatever, man. I got to triple team the man all times, whatever you want to say. And, you know, at certain points, when you're just not having a good day, especially with Madden, like playing Madden games, having some bad luck and stuff like that, like these kind of fumbles keep on happening, you think we'll actually recover this one, you just get frustrated. You just start doing things that aren't that smart. So, eventually, I just got away from the running game. I think it's third down and one. This is when I decided to get away with it. I try to run it there. He busted open there. And fourth down and five. I actually go for this. Like, this is bad. But I get it. And then I drop the ball. So, that just adds to the frustration. First of all, I normally punt the ball in that situation. But now, when I actually go for it, my dude, like, took two steps and then dropped it. And meanwhile, this man is hurtling. And it's all good. He's getting extra yards. So, it's extra frustrating when that kind of stuff happens. Here's second down inches. Not a smart play by him. He turns it into a third down 13 instead of an inches play. That's easily manageable. And we knock right Reggie Bush here dropped the ball of his hands and we forced him to take a field goal here when he had second down inches so with the situation we had it's kind of a win but at the same time I mean that should never happen we just dropped the pass wide open there Dickerson inside he didn't want to do anything and here you see the this halfback pass is nearly impossible to run the only way to run it is if someone's running Fagdy or if someone breaks the tackle like CJ Spiller just did and this is a nice lob pass to Spiller but he drops it okay Adds to the frustration. Third down and 10, or third down and 7. I'm looking at Stevie here, and then I just throw it to this guy. I don't know why. So, fourth down, I'm like, all right, I can throw it to Stevie on the slant because he got open last time, and thankfully, he gets open this time and he doesn't drop it. But I'm just going for these reckless fourth downs. Absolutely reckless. Something I would never do. It's like borderline embarrassing for me here. But, um,. I got it that time, so it's all good. I was down 10. I was a little bit desperate. So now, back to the offense here. Like I said, I stopped running the ball a little bit. I think from 
Filler got injured a little bit, so Fred Jackson came in, and now we start passing the ball to Graham. But the thing is, the passing game is actually working out all right. It's like the passing game has been bad. We just failed to convert that one fourth down, and here we squeeze it into Graham. Probably has some guys open on the second level, but it's all good, man. It's all good. And now we go back to the ground when Spiller comes in the game. Wasn't really that looking forward to run the ball with Fred Jackson. I would rather run the ball with CJ, and here we throw it to the tight end Chandler, and Chandler is done for the game after that big hit. Way to go. And here, two-minute warning. We're not that much of in a hurry because there's only 46 seconds left. But third down and two, my dude drops the ball again. So thank you, Dickerson, for, you know, not doing your only job, which is catching the ball. You don't get paid to look pretty on camera. You get paid to drop or catch the ball, and this dude's dropping it. So we have to sell for a few goal because of him. And look at this kick return he gets with barely any time before. Are you serious, man? Uh, this is why I don't kick it to people straight up anymore. Because this kind of stuff happens. Now he's in field goal range. And it's frustrating because only 27 seconds left. It would have been hard for him to drive it downfield. Instead, now he's at the 20-yard line. 20 seconds left until he lobs it up. And this time, Gilmore comes down with it and gets a pick. Another big mistake for my opponent. My opponent was not the smartest opponent. He was just capitalizing off of my frustration and dumb mistakes. <laughs> That's keeping him up right now. Keeping him up by 7. But I'm trying to get some points before halftime. There's only 11 seconds left. But TJ Graham doesn't care. He's breaking tackles. Getting close to field goal range. I'm not sure who the kicker is. I'm pretty sure they cut Lindell. So we're just going to try to get him like a decent, like the 30-yard line. But that doesn't happen. We get sacked. And with 4 seconds left, we just got to take a deep shot. So I'm thinking I'm either going to hit up CJ or I'm going to hit up Stevie. So I just not No, I just get knocked out instead by my own offensive lineman. And then I still, I'm still able to launch it, but I just hit nobody. So we go into halftime down seven, but we get the ball with a chance to tie the game. So as bad as I've been playing, I have a chance to tie this game. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. I'm still a little bit frustrated because just that kind of stuff keeps on happening. Drop pass there. Dixon, whatever his name is, needs to like get off the field. But EJ Manuel, it's time for EJ Manuel to step up in the second half. I didn't take advantage of his running abilities at all in the first half. But now, we're going to start running some options. You see Manuel's first run is almost 40 yards. Next play, we take off, scramble out the pocket. Manuel, get out of bounds so you don't fumble the ball. And he still fumbles the ball, but thankfully, I went out of bounds to avoid that. Next play, EJ Manuel, read option. Probably should have cut that outside. But nonetheless, a good game for my dude at 53 yards yards in the second half just running with him then we give it to fred jackson trying to avoid this one guy juke him cannot we have a good drive going i feel good about the way we're going on defense we just can't drop balls or something like that we can't fumble and i think that cj spiller down for the count hopefully he's not gone for the game so we come out in five wide we hit up tj Grimm, trying to get in the end zone really close they're down in one and i come out i run hurry up and i'm like he's definitely not he's definitely not anticipating a quarterback draw so we run it and that's exactly what happened he wasn't anticipating it after i ran hurry up out of five wide look at this horse shit man how the hell is this gonna happen yo like <laughs> he drops it and somehow the other guy picks it up and is able to get 30 yards i thought we were gonna force him out like the two yard line that happens instead and it just builds on to the frustration just builds on and builds on and builds on and you know what madden when you get frustrated you don't make good decisions like i've been doing there'll be guys open you won't see them there'll be fourth downs when you should punt it and you go for it and there calvin johnson gets absolutely lit up hangs on to it though next play his drive is still alive he's giving it to Pettigrew. Pettigrew's moving the ball in the field goal range for acres matt stafford looking looking a lot of time in the pocket he rolls down just dumps it down to oh i don't even know who this guy is it might be broils or, I'm not sure, but he just got a good three yards there. Next play, we leave, the, leave Calvin in single coverage again. Every single time I left Calvin in single coverage, you notice that he would throw it to him. So, I mean, for the most part, I, would just, I was just taking a chance that maybe he wouldn't look there, but he was just looking at Calvin for the most part. So, now that I know that Calvin's done being open for the rest of the game, and now nobody will be open on this third down and five, hopefully. Hopefully, but he's able to squeeze it in there to Burleson. I don't know how my linebacker didn't react. Next play, he's just able to scoot. No, we stop him at the one. Next play, he tries to run it with Reggie Bush. Stop him. Yes. Whoa, he tried to skide in there and finally, somebody fumbles the ball. I am sick of people flipping up in the air like that and not fumbling in. He got it at the most inopportune time at the one yard line and we recover a fumble. I don't know when's the last time I actually recovered one of those, but I make a boneheaded move. And as soon as I threw this pass, I was just thinking in my head, I deserve to lose this game. There's no reason why I should even be in this game. I deserve to lose it for making a throw like that. I didn't think the linebacker would react. He did. Next play, Burleson out route, touchdown down by seven. And I'm just like, 
I, I, I don't deserve to win this game. The, and look at this, I'm throwing in the coverage. This time, Dickerson hangs on because Chan, Chandler's out. So now I definitely got to rely on this stupid Dickerson guy. But, um, you know, nonetheless, I have a chance. So I'm just going to run with EJ Manuel. Jumping in the air, dodging people. Look at EJ. EJ Manuel is gone. What's that, a 68-yard touchdown? EJ Manuel turned on the Jets. If I have a chance... I don't care how bad I've been playing. It's winning time, and I'm locked in. There he fumbles while trying to do that stupid hurdle again, but it goes out of bounds. Next play, run the ball. Reggie, and all he needs is a field goal. So the clock is kind of winding down. I'm not liking how long it's taking for his drive to go. And there, I was on him, but I went away. I didn't think he would throw it, and he ended up throwing anyways. And as soon as I moved away, it was just bad timing on my part. And now he's running the ball, but I got the run locked up here. I'm making sure he can't run it. I'm going to make sure he beats me with somebody that's not Calvin Johnson or Reggie Bush. And how about Matt Stafford's legs? Are you serious i didn't think matt stafford's legs would be a team that the thing that beat us on this team now he's running play action and we're ready we're ready for that knock him down mario williams second down and 17 trying to force him to punt this ball back to us two minute warning about to come up matt stafford looking finds Pettigrew. Pettigrew fighting gets in the field goal range does not get the first down though and now bring up a third down and six and stafford throws it to calvin johnson on the curl look at calvin shaking people off dude calvin Calm down, dude. Calvin at the 9-yard line trying to win this game. Clock running down. We need to get a stop here. Hopefully, we don't give up a touchdown. We got to start using up our timeouts. We're in desperation mode. Second down and goal. Trying to lock up the run. And look at Reggie Bush. Are you serious? How is he stumbling forward like that? That brings up a third down and two manageable. He runs the ball with Reggie, but gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. And he's taking his points. He's taking his field goal. So, that means we only need a field goal to tie this game and a touchdown to win it. Under a minute to go, no timeouts. EJ Manuel, the rookie. Who is he going to hit up? I'm looking. I cannot find anybody until I throw it to Goodwin. And look at Goodwin. One people, two people. Get off of me. Goodwin, the open field. Goodwin all the way to the 20. Get off of me. Finally gets tackled at the... Under 20 yard line. He went from the 20 to the other 20. We run hurry up. Next play, CJ Spiller. CJ in open field and Spiller. Touchdown. And we grab the lead. I believe our first sole possession of the lead all game long. Playing horrible all game. And we get the lead with 43 seconds to go. A clutch drive. Now he needs a touchdown to win it. Stafford, check down. And I'm cool with him checking it down. Because that means clock, the clock's against him right now. He only has one timeout. 37 seconds left. He has to go deep. But he checks it down again to the slant and I'm okay with that because now he has to run hurry up and look how much time and the clock is gone only 23 seconds left Stafford looking we got everything locked up deep he's gonna have to check it down he's gonna have to take a sack and he's about to take a sack here and Stafford rolling out cannot get out of bounds he has to call his last time out 15 seconds left he's coming out in Hail Mary formation he's gonna take a shot for Calvin Johnson Jr. going deep Calvin, nope, we swat that down with Williams, get that out of here, seven seconds left, he's got one more Hail Mary shot for Calvin, Calvin in single coverage, Calvin in double, Calvin Johnson for the win, DB catches it, but he gets tackled at the five, and we win the game, he caught it in double coverage, but we come, we make him come down, and whew, what a game man, I can't believe we came out with that one, but we did. Really exciting game. Definitely did not deserve to be in that one, but I'll take it, man. I'll take my 10 skill points, whatever. Just count your lucky charms. I don't know. We made the plays in the fourth. That's all that matters, right? Forget lucky charms. We made the plays. So, hope you guys liked the video. Leave a like in the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more Madden 25 gameplays, and I'm out.